When you've got it, the sense of medieval unknowing only deepens. Is this definitely it? Will it get worse? Will it come back? My version of the virus began with a nasty headache and a grubby feeling of unease, after which I threw up on the bathroom floor. That's disgusting, Mum, said my four-year-old son, handing me a towel with a look of patronising distaste. I've never known a bug treat its victims so differently. My friends have reported stabbing sore throats, a loss of taste and smell, and numbness in their fingertips. One slight but sad effect of this great variation in symptoms is that it makes phoning friends to share corona stories peculiarly unsatisfying. Weren't the muscle aches awful? Oh, you didn't get them. No, no sore throat for me. Oh, well. That evening, as I lay on the sofa, a happy thought occurred to me. If this was the virus, then my husband, who works 16-hour days as a rule, would have to come home. I let myself imagine a fortnight in bed with mild symptoms, chatting to Dorman's son through an open door. More fool me. My husband did rush home to look after me. He's an extremely kind man, whatever people assume to the contrary. But 24 hours later, he said, I feel weird, and collapsed. I felt breathless, sometimes achy, but Dom couldn't get out of bed. Day in, day out, for 10 days he lay doggo with a high fever and spasms that made the muscles lump and twitch in his legs. He could breathe, but only in a limited, shallow way. After a week, we reached peak corona uncertainty. Day six is a turning point, I was told. That's when you either get better or head for ICU. But was Dom fighting off the bug, or was he heading for a ventilator? Who knew? I sat on his bed, staring at his chest, trying to count his breaths per minute. The little oxygen reader we'd bought on Amazon indicated he should be in hospital. But his lips weren't blue, and he could talk in full sentences such as, Please stop staring at my chest, sweetheart. My son, in his doctor's uniform, administered Ribena with the grim insistence of a Broadmoor nurse. And this might be my only really useful advice for other corona parents or single mothers with preschoolers. Get out the doctor's kit. Make it your child's job to take your temperature. Any game that involves lying down is a good game. Just as Dawn was beginning to feel better, it was reported that Boris was heading in the other direction, into hospital. I've been a slack Christian during this era of biblical plague. Churches are shut, even Catholic churches, and somehow that makes more of a difference than I thought it would. One of the reasons I converted was because the doors of Catholic churches were always open, the sanctuary lamp lit. And now they're closed, it feels as if someone's turned off the spiritual stopcock. But what is there to do for the sick now except pray? I got to my knees for Boris and found to my surprise that my prayers flowed easily as if carried along in a current of others. Mary Wakefield of The Spectator.